Hi, I'm Jamie Cole, the Research and Innovation Lead here at Matillion. I'd like to introduce you to our new Git integration feature. This works directly in the Matillion interface, so there's no need to use third-party Git tools. Git integration is an enterprise mode feature, so you'll need to be using a large or extra large instance. Let's see how this new feature looks in Matillion. This feature will allow you to store versionable items such as orchestration and transform jobs in a local Git repository on the Matillion instance, and then to push and fetch these to and from remote repositories such as GitHub. This can be useful if your company mandates Git for storing code and allows you to scale your infrastructure with multiple Matillion instances and using Git to promote jobs between them. Here I have a simple project with two transformation jobs and an orchestration job I want to enable for Git. All Git options are accessed via the Git option in the project menu. The first time you access the screen, you'll be given two options. Init local repository will convert your existing project to a Git enable project, while clone remote repository will allow you to create a Git enable project from cloning items from a remote repository. We'll look at cloning an existing repository later. For now, let's convert our existing project to be Git enabled. You'll need to provide a commit message username and email address as with all Git commits. If you're not using username and password authentication in Matillion, you'll be assigned a default. However, it's easy to change this. Just press the pencil icon and go in and add your details. This screen allows you to perform Git actions. The basic actions for local Git use are commit, this commits the current state of a job to a specific branch, and create branch, which will create a new branch. We'll look at these now. First off, I'm going to make a change to our existing jobs. I'll create a new transformation job, which I'll call job three, and I'll add this to our existing orchestration flow. I'll now commit this to Git by going back to the Git menu and pressing our commit button. You'll see the branch that you're checking into here is the default master branch. You need to check the changes that you want to commit. And as with all Git commits, you'll need to add a commit message. You'll see the username and email address we entered earlier are visible here. This will drop you back on the Git screen where you'll see the new commit. This is the currently selected commit, which you can see from this hollow circle symbol here. It's possible to switch your current Matillion version to point at any previous commit that's been made. If you click this arrow, we'll switch back to our original commit. You'll see here that the changes we just made are no longer visible because we're pointing at our original initial check-in. However, I'll now go back into the Git menu and switch to our recent commit that we just made. You'll see here our new job and our changes to the orchestration job have returned. Often in Git, you'll want to create branches. To create a Git branch, go back to the Git screen and press Create Branch. We'll call this Feature Branch. I'm now going to make a code change. I'll add a new job that we're going to create just for this branch. I'll call this job A and I'll add it to our orchestration flow. I'll now commit this. If we go back into the Git screen and press commit, you'll notice here we need to change branch name to check into our new feature branch. I'll check the changes as we always have to and I'll give our commit message as feature check-in. Click OK and you can see that the feature branch has moved on from our master branch by one commit. I'm now going to switch back to our master branch and make another change. In this case, I will add a new transformation job, job four. And I'll also add this to our orchestration flow. Now, what I want to do here is commit back to the master branch. You'll see here, master is already selected. These are my new changes and I'll give our commit message. You'll notice how the Git tree is showing the branch of having diverged from the master with the head of each branch shown. Here is the feature check-in we did before, and here is our new check-in to the master branch, which has moved on. It's also possible to merge branches. To demonstrate this, I'll merge the feature branch we just made back into master. Ensure your version is at the commit and branch that you want to merge into. We can see from this hollow circle here that we're at the most recent check-in on the master branch. 
Commits available to be merged into the current branch display the merge icon as here. This will create a new commit, which is the merge of the two commits. So we're going to merge our feature check-in with our job four check-in. Here is the merge dialog. As with all git commits, you have to choose a branch that you're creating the commit in. That's the master branch here. These are the commit descriptions of the two commits that we're merging. You can see the one that we're merging into is on the master branch and it's our job for check-in. And here we're merging from the feature branch, the feature check-in. You have to provide a commit message as with any git commit. Matillion has helpfully suggested one here that I'm going to stick with. We have a checkout after merge checkbox. All this means is that when the merge is complete, Matillion will automatically switch to the new commit. If there are no merge conflicts, a new commit will be created. However, this example has a merge conflict because the orchestration job run me has changed in both commits. Hitting back goes back to the merge screen and shows you the jobs that have a conflict. The options for each conflicted job are to keep our version, e.g. the version from the current commit, or their version, the version from the branch that's being merged into this one. I'm going to choose to keep ours. Again, our commit message and username and email address are there. This takes us back to the canvas where you can see the non-conflicted item job A has been brought in from the other commit. The run me orchestration job is missing the reference to job A because we chose to keep our version. So what I'm gonna do now is add that back on so we have a full orchestration job and I'm gonna create one final commit. Here you'll see our new commit, the merge of both of them with the manual changes added back in and we're currently on that commit. That's it for the main features if you just want to use Git locally but Matillion also supports using a remote repository. Local commits are fetched and pushed to and from remote Git. For this, we recommend starting with an empty Git repository rather than one that already is populated with non-Matillion items. Ideally, Matillion would have sole use of this repository. Here, I'm using a new GitHub repository I've just created, accessed via HTTPS, although Matillion also supports SSH. To connect Matillion to the remote repository, open the Git screen and press the gear icon. Input your URI and then press OK. At this point, Matillion is aware of the repository but has not connected to it. Connections will only be made when a user makes a specific push or fetch request. To push your commits to the repository, click the up arrow. You'll need here to enter your remote repository username and password, then click OK. You'll get a notification saying which branches have been successfully pushed. In this case, both of them have been successfully pushed. You can then click Close. If I go and look in GitHub, refresh this page, you can see our six commits and our two branches have been pushed to the remote repository. Git will fetch any new commits that have been checked in to the remote repository by another Matillion since last time a fetch was done. This will only be used in scenarios where you're using multiple Matillion projects or instances, such as a production and a development instance. These new commits will be available to be switched to. The final action is to demonstrate cloning an existing repository into a Matillion project. To demonstrate this, I'll switch to an empty project now. Here you'll see I have a completely empty Matillion project. It's set up with an environment, but no jobs. It's also not currently Git enabled. So the first thing to do is to go back into the Git screen, but this time we'll select clone remote repository. Enter the repository URI and the username and password. You'll notice I've selected switch to master. This simply means Matillion will automatically switch to the last check-in to the master branch. At this point, you can change to any commit. And you'll see we have populated our new Matillion project with all of the previous jobs we checked into Git. That's it for the key features of Git in Matillion. For more information on this new feature or to start a 14-day free trial, please visit matillion.com. Thanks for watching.